Hey guys, welcome back to part two of episode five. Um, so we had a little bit of technical difficulties with the camera. So what we're going to do, I'm actually sitting down at this point and we're going to elaborate from my beautiful display here on what to wear. Unfortunately, my camera does not agree with my area here. So I'm just going to talk to you from the chair and let you guys know what to look for in the fall. So a couple of things. The color palette for the fall can range in various colors. You can have your maroons, which is my favorite. I love maroons. Then we have olive greens. No neons, please. No neons. Save the neon for the summer. Olive greens. We have a lot of geometric patterns that look really good in the fall. Um, also, my other favorite color, mustard. I love mustard. In the fall, it's so pretty and elaborate. And it's just like the color palette is just so beautiful. You have your, when you mix your olives with your maroons, with your mustards, and you have, of course, your beautiful neutral browns, your tans. Black could be included as well. It's a basic color, but black can be included as well. So you have like a variety of different things. Another big one, cognac. Cognac is such a huge thing in the fall. You can never see someone without going outside and seeing someone wearing cognac. Cognac is just so simple. You can put it with anything that you put together for yourself as an outfit, which is fantastic. I actually have one cognac boot, so which I can show you. Just can't lift my leg up, but <laughs> as you can see, I'll lower the camera so you can see. Which goes with my denim. Denim is another big thing in the fall. A lot of outfits are made with denim as the prime source on the bottom of your bottoms here. So I just, just, just brought out a couple of things here so you guys can understand and kind of follow through with a little bit of fashion advice. So we'll start with, let's see. Um, I'll start with this. So this is my, one of my favorite sweaters. I got this from Charlotte Ruse years ago, but it still fits. So this is actually an oversized sweater. It's very stretchy material. It has your blushes in there. So you can throw some blushes in there too, guys. So don't be afraid to go a little light. You don't have to stay dark the whole fall season. So this has a couple of blushes in there. You just throw this beautiful sweater on so you guys can see how fluffy and warm it is. And throw this on. See, guys, it looks real nice. So you can do oversized sweaters is the biggest thing in the fall. A lot of people love it. I'm one of those people. I'm very laid back, so I like to wear, like, baggy things. One of the baggy things I like to wear is baggy sweatshirts. And baggy sweaters. I love it. So this here is paired. We're going to use this as a base. We do have my denim and my cognac, which looks fantastic. So also with the neutral color, you can have neutral and cognac. Um, also, you can always pair this also. I have my little shoe thing going on down here. You can always pair this also with like a pair of new pumps. To break the color apart, you can always wear like a, you can wear a front, tank top like me, or you can wear like a, like pick like a tan if you like to see, on the nude family. But you always want to break that up as well with some accessories. So you want to make sure that you have at least like some gold. Some silvers. Um, silver is a big thing in the winter, though, so don't go crazy with the silver in the fall. The fall is primarily golds and pewters, which looks really pretty. So you want to make sure that you mix them up, and you don't want to just be a little, you know, too basic with it. You want to kind of like 
have like a little bit of maybe rose gold. You can have some bronze in there. But you always want to break colors up with accessories, especially when it's kind of multicolored like mine, to kind of bring it out because this is a solid neutral, but it has the greens and blush pink in there. So you want to make sure that you're breaking up colors as you're dressing yourself for the day. So for this, I can actually pair this with um, a pair of shades, which is fantastic to wear. Uh, that's another big thing that is a, um, a popular thing to wear in the fall, big shades. I love me some big shades. I'm a big shade person all year round, but the big shades in the fall looks really fantastic. And then also we have the scarves here. I got my scarves on a hanger. So here we go. I just picked a couple of scarves because I have like so many. You know, fashionistas always got to have a whole bunch of crap in the closet. So we're going to pick this one. This is a nude. I'm a nude. I'm sorry. <laughs> a mustard color. So you can always just like throw this on as an accessory um, just to kind of like back up your outfit. So if you look, it backs up my outfit. I have my denim and then I have my cognac with my neutral color sweater and then I also have my mustard to throw in that beautiful breakup of a color with my big shades on. So you can always throw um, accessories on just to break up your outfit which is really fantastic if you don't want to have just like a plain Jane outfit. You can always have plain Jane outfit but you want to break that up too. Maybe with some accessories such as jewelry. So that was my ticket for this beautiful sweater. So let's find something else. So also you guys, um, don't be afraid to wear skirts in the fall. I know it's kind of cold, but you can always wear skirts in the fall. I think I'm actually going to start doing that. I haven't done that in years after my second daughter because I'm still kind of weight conscious. I'm trying to get back to my starting weight before I had my, found out I was pregnant with my daughter, um, my second daughter. So um, I'm trying to get myself back together here. But here's an example of a maroon top. So I'm not going to put it on, but... Um, I'm just going to lay it over my base here. So you can always pair this up with a tank top, high waist. You can always do a high waist um, ordeal here. You can always wear, you can always pair it up with either like boots, you can do sky boots. Um, because I have a black shirt on, I would probably like put these on, which is the sky boots over the knees. If you have two legs. This was really nice paired up with this in the black. And also, um, I would pair it up with this bag. So, another thing, you guys remember, you want to have a clean bag. Um, anybody that knows me will tell you I am just a one backpack person, which I should change that eventually. But um, I do recommend if you have handbags. Handbags are very accessible, especially for your outfit that you're trying to create for the fall, um, this happens to be fringe, and fringe is also a popular thing in the fall. Fringe is not only popular in the summer, but it's also popular in the fall. So you must have at least one fringe black bag that you can take out when you go out like if you go out to dinner, are you going out on the night of the town, anything. Um, I do recommend to have a fringe bag. Also, like a side bag, too. I didn't put one in this pile, but a side bag as well. A lot of um, popular things, especially in the fall and the winter, is to have those side bags, especially the chain bags. Fanny packs were the summer thing, but now we're moving into side bags and we're moving into fringe. So you always want to remember, make sure you have a handbag, ladies and fellas. All right, so let's see. I'm going to demonstrate something else. One of my favorite colors is definitely 
olive green. I love me some olive green. Olive green and gold. That's my favorite go-to, especially in the fall. I love it. So this is actually from my Andrea Rose LLC website. So you guys make sure you get it. While it's hot, it's only one size. And there's only one of it. This is my geometric olive green vest. Um, so typically you can pair this up with like a long sleeve black shirt, long sleeve white shirt. You can do cognac boots. So in this case, we're going to pretend I have sleeves here because I decided to wear a tank top because it's hot. So let me go ahead and put this on so you guys can see. Now this actually has a hood too, but anything solid. So here we go. Here's a cute little vest. You see, I can't. <laughs> this is what happens when you have two babies. <laughs> so um, I have my solid um, olive green on. So it actually looks pretty. It actually looks pretty good with this and my cognac boots as well. So if you guys want to take a look, I'll go ahead and kind of like level this down for you. So this actually looks pretty good. If you see the colors, they match the dimension of the outfit. So you have your cognac here, you have your olive green here. And then if you wanted to add an accessory, you could add another scarf if you like to break it up. So I do have another scarf. There's different ways you can put your scarves too, by the way, guys. You don't have to be like one set way you have to put your scarf. So this is one of my, this is a thick scarf. So this is when it starts getting really cold. And it's going to start getting really cold probably in maybe this month, late October. Uh, they were saying they're calling for early snow. So guys in New Jersey, watch out. All right. So you can always just, you know, if you want to bundle up. Your scarf, you can always just bundle up your scarf. Just pull your hair up. Make it look nice. So if you are one of the scarf lovers like me, and you want to make it like real giant, you can do that. Again, guys, we're going to pretend I have long sleeves here. So this will look really nice with um, another pair of earrings, not these. But it will look really nice with the long sleeve black shirt. And then when this closes, <laughs> we're going to pretend this is closing. Um, this looks really nice when it is closed um, with a long sleeve black shirt um, or a white shirt. A white shirt would actually look actually better if you don't switch the shoes. Um, a white shirt will look nice under here. Long sleeve white shirt with your scarf. And then, of course, you want to make sure you have your accessory of your handbag. Um, I do have a handbag that kind of sort of, I guess, Kind of sort of goes with this. Um, we have this one. This is like an off cognac, but it goes with the family scheme. This is actually a side bag slash handbag. So this bag would actually look really nice with this outfit um, once you break up the color with the white. Um, just show you. So once you break this up with the color of the white it'll look really nice and it'll blend in with the nude family you have going on here with your um your really like color definitive cognac here then you have your um cognac at the bottom here and then you have this color which will define kind of like break it up a little bit so you can either do that or you don't have to have a handbag at all because there's so many distinct colors in this look so just wanted to show you guys that another thing you guys have to understand so a lot of people have the question about stripes let me tell you something about stripes so black and white stripes are the go-to as well in the fall so I have an example for you guys you guys can kind of see where I'm at so you guys can like pair this beautiful black and white striped shirt. This is one of my favorite shirts. This is actually a turtleneck um, with a pair of olive green pants. Okay, Fashion Nova. So you want to pair these. This is actually from Charlotte Russe too. 
Um, and you can also pair it with some, let's get some red guys. Ooh, la, la, ooh, wee, wee. So let's take a look down here. So here we go. We got our, uh, olive green here and we have our black and white stripe here. And also we have our beautiful red to break up the color of the stripes. So you can always do this and also what will look really nice guys is a really nice beret. I should have brought some out, but and I have like a whole bunch of them. Um, I actually, I bought a couple before I had like two and then, um, when my grandmother passed, I like took all of her berets. She had like a whole bunch of berets. So berets are another, um, popular item in the fall guys. Um, I most likely have pictures on my Instagram and my Facebook to show you guys the berets and stuff like that. So you kind of take a look so you can go purchase some for yourself and they have all different colors patterns shapes all that so berets are very popular and also for hats as well um scully caps for all my retro people um for like a chill fall night vibe scully caps are really nice um and also um beanie caps beanie caps are nice um, and also this cute little hat with the pom-pom on the top. So, um, I'm not sure if they're going to bring that back in. I will most likely do my homework to see if they'll bring that back. But, excuse me, I have, um, a faux leather hat that has a pom-pom at the top. I love that hat so much. So, um, just look out. You can do different things with hats. Um, also... They have the headbands that go across the forehead. You can do that too, but that's more for the winter though. I wouldn't, I wouldn't do that. But um, turbans, turbans are another head accessory that you guys can look for for the fall. Uh, turbans are very popular, especially the all black turbans or um, the velour. Velour is very popular. Uh, closer to November, velour starts to become popular into December. So having a velour turban is very, very nice. So if you guys want to look for that as well. Um, they have them at your stores, you know, uh, Fashion Nova, Pretty Little Thing, Boohoo, all, all those stores um, that they have, you know, hair accessories. You can do that. Also, clips are really nice as well. So all my hair trendy people, you can use uh, clip-ins, well not the clip-ins, but um, the um, the bobby pins with like the sayings and with the crystals and things on there, that'll look really nice too. So there's a lot that you can do with these things. Now also with this look, you can also do maroon, which is fantastic. So I'm just going to have this handbag just as an example. So here we have a maroon bag with our olive green and stripes. So this looks fantastic. I love it. You can do a maroon lip. You can do even a plum lip for all my makeup people. So I'm addressing everybody right now. So hairstylists, makeup people. So you can do a maroon lip. You can do um, a nude lip you like um because nude looks really pretty with stripes and um olive green which looks fantastic you can also do like i mentioned earlier plum or if you want to keep it really sexy just keep it in the red family because that looks really good so also guys um like i mentioned earlier so denim is a popular thing so i just have like a little denim over here um i also have for my dressy people, this is a cute dress I got. I forgot. Where did I get this from? Ah, Fashion Nova. So this pretty little dress, this is very uh, popular in the fall as well with the exaggerated sleeves, like the bell bottoms. They have like bell bottom sleeves um, for your dresses, like anything like that, any poofy sleeves that's in for the fall. It's always in for the fall. It's so pretty. Um, so if you want to wear like, like a polyester dress, Polyester is very high demand, especially in the fall, especially for the um the dress wearers <laughs> for all of our fashionistas and uh our devos too, because they wear dresses too, because you guys are awesome too. Um, so polyester looks really nice. So um uh dresses it varies, it depends where you're going. 
but a lot of dresses are kind of like the either they can be the sleeveless you can wear a long sleeve underneath the sleeveless if you're going for that kind of look but for dresses like that um it looks really nice especially in the fall um what else do we have so leather let's get to the leather so this is very popular in the fall this is a big one guys so for all my fashion lovers out there you know that we gotta wear leather some point in the fall leather is like the biggest thing ever like you can put this with anything like, you could put it with a, a cute, like, maroon top. You can do a mustard top. You can do anything. Anything that is black leather is fantastic. Like, I love this leather look. Like, it's, it's, it's great. So, leather is a very, very, very important aspect of the fall. So, if you guys haven't bought anything, just buy at least one thing that has, like, leather in it. Because it's going to look so fantastic. Then you can hook it up with all of your different accessories that you would like. And then it'll look like... Wow, look at that. So leather is definitely um, a thing. So um, I actually wore this on set for the money bag video. <laughs> but uh, leather, just looks, it just looks fantastic. I actually wore this with leather pants, um, faux leather pants that were my grandmother's. They were high-waisted. I was like, ooh, girl. <laughs> but the leather looked fantastic. So any time that you guys go to the store, make sure you buy at least one piece of leather. So that way you can wear it in, in the fall. And again, with the exaggerated um, sweater, this one gonna come off. So this is my one of my favorite oversized sweaters. Like I can just wear this with a pair of leggings and some boots. Like look at how that drapes. Like that's just like awesome. I just love it. Let me just pull that up there so you guys can see. So. One of the biggest things, like I said, um, this was actually a very popular look, like, last year in 2017. Like, the rip look was, like, in. Like, it was in. Like, you had to have something that had a rip in it. And if it didn't have a rip in it, it was just basic. And why are you wearing it? This makes no, it doesn't make any sense. So, look at how baggy this looks. Like, this is just, like, awesome. Like, you can wear this with a pair of jeans. You can wear this with a, sh with a skirt if you want to. Just kind of like poof it out make it look all nice and stuff and also um like I said before leggings you can even pair with like high thigh high boots you can wear your cute little booties if you're a booty person <laughs> again this is fashion over <laughs> if you're a booty person a person uh, booty person <laughs> you can wear your booties with anything so you can wear it with a baggy sweater and uh, leggings or if you want to wear velour baggy pants or anything that's like the um, the material they use for the sweatsuits you can wear that with this that looks so dope oh my goodness with like a baggy sweater and some glasses and your hair up in a butt like that just I can just I can just imagine it but for my booty lovers you can stick booties with any outfit which is fantastic and great all right guys um so pretty much for the textiles you can do geometric patterns you can do anything that's really nice like I said mentioned earlier like one of the textiles the stripes um you can do um, color variations you can do pretty much anything for the fall if you guys have any questions I get questions all the time especially like from people like I either work with or I seen like the street and they see my outfit they're like how'd you put that together I'll take a brief moment and I'll let them know you know I just put this together um, with this this and this if you guys have any questions about like how to dress for the fall just leave some comments below. Let me know if you need help finding anything in your closet. Um, I can navigate with you to help you. And also, don't forget to visit my website. I will have new pieces up up there. I just did the, I call it the triple threat. I have a new crop top sweatshirt. We're getting ready for the fall. And also, I have my spread love and peace high-low tank top. 
that's also in the women's and also I have one for the fellas I didn't forget about you guys you guys finally got your own shop so the men's shop also has the spread love and peace a t-shirt available as well we size from small to 2x so there's no excuses why you can't get yours so just make sure you check that out but we will be having more pieces as the fall season approaches uh, we're gonna have a lot more crop I love crop tops I'm a crop top person you know I got crop top going on here um so we're gonna have a lot more pieces uh coming out very soon so look for that guys so make sure you put my phone on the floor <sighs> guys I gotta get a whole new screen I done dropped the phone like five million times poor screen is like <sighs> but that's okay I'm gonna get it fixed but make sure you guys comment below, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe. Also, in my About Me section, I do have the link to my Instagram. Make sure you look for that. Look for my business page for my Instagram. Go visit the website, www.andrearosellc.com. Yes, we are in the building. So, um, I just got my necklace. This is actually from andrearosellc.com, so go get yours. But um, thank you guys so much for listening to me talk for almost 30 minutes. Um, again, you guys are always appreciated. I love you all. Thank you so much for your support. And look out for uh, episode six coming out very soon. You guys take care and make sure you always stay fabulous.